Welcome guys, 24-7 Tech here, and this is LG Graham 15-inch review. So, by the way, we're reviewing the one which has th Thunderbolt 3 in it also, because we just wanted to do that. So, anyways, these are the categories that we're going to be covering out today. They're the design, display, battery, features, performance, ports, audio, and price. Those are the categories we're going to be covering today. And yeah, let's dive right into this. So first of all, the design is really, really good. First of all, that's like one of the best features about this. It's one, the really uh, an ultra lightweight laptop, a 15 inch laptop, which is 2.4 pounds. That's how light it is. And the thinness is ultra sharp thin too. And it looks and feels really good in the hand, too. It's made out of aluminum, just like the MacBooks in the front and the back and basically everywhere. It's pretty bezel-less. It's not as um, bezel -less as something like this, the XPS, but it's still really good. Here's a picture of the front. It looks perfectly awesome. The key travel is really nice on the keyboard also. And the trackpad isn't as great, but it's still really nice. It's ultra lightweight, which is my favorite part about it. A 15-inch computer with it's usually a like a powerhouse it's around four to four point five pounds usually like something like the macbook pro will run you around four pounds but this 15 inch computer is just 2.4 pounds which just pushes it above the border so design gets maybe a solid 10 out of 10. how about the display now it might be only 1080p but it's not the worst display i've, I've ever seen 1080p is still okay but it's still not pushing the border, and as you, you might have heard with my comparisons from the Dell XPS, I am not a fan of 1080p displays. It has to be at least 1440p or 1600 to make it at least worthy. And for a 15-inch computer, that's just a pushing the limits too low. Like a 13-inch, I could understand a 1080p. But a 15-inch coming in at 1920 by 1080p, it's really not there yet, and the display, they don't really have any major advancements yet, so I have to give the display a 7.5 out of 10. Battery life is really good. Um, Dell advertised this as to be 16.5 hours, but it's probably not what you're going to get. Um, you're probably going to get closer to maybe 12 to 14 hours, but in a computer which is 2.4 pounds, ultra thin, um, ultra light, as I already said, you're getting a really good battery life out of this computer already. Battery life is a very easy 9.5 out of 10. The features, these offer an 8th gen Intel Core i7 processor base. Um, it has a touchscreen display, Thunderbolt 3, and it has a fingerprint identification, 16 gigabytes of RAM and one terabyte SSD, which is really beefy um, features for uh, a s not that expensive computer. I'll tell you the price coming soon. Stay tuned for that. So the features, they're really stacked up on this. And uh, here's a picture of the fingerprint ID. It's built in right into the power button, which is pretty cool, actually. It's a nice way to hide it, but still keep that feature there. So the features gets an easy 9 out of 10. How about performance? So let me give you some of the specs that this comes with base. 8th gen i7 processor, 16 gigabytes of RAM and 1 terabyte SSD. That's already really high. And for the price, which again, I'm going to tell you really soon, that's actually a really, really good purchase. And for, it's getting basically all the things right. For maybe something like video editing, you need a newer processor with a higher capabilities like the i7 that it does offer. And also it offers 16 gigabytes of RAM, which is probably the base for video editing, which is which it offers already. And one terabyte SSD is actually pretty high. You probably just need 512 gigabytes, but it's offering that, which is good. So performance gets a 9.5 out of 10. How about the audio? This is pretty good audio. Um, I, I wouldn't say it's the best out of everything, but it's still really good. It has that surround sound thing that LG does all the time, and it's good. It's not the best thing that I'd say. Uh, it's not as good as the front firing speakers of, let's say, something like the MacBook Pro 15-inch, but the LG's Gram is still really good speakers, 
But I'd say if you're if you want this to be your full setup, then you probably still have to go for some oh sorry for some external speakers. So audio gets uh, maybe an 8.5 out of 10. It's not the best, but it's also not the worst, I'd say. So how about the ports? It has one HDMI port, one USB 3 port, one micro SD port, three USB. Oh, sorry, sorry, uh, scratch that completely. Don't even show that on the screen. It has one HDMI port, one USB 3.0 Type-C port, three USB 3 ports. So basically one, one which supports like Thunderbolt 3 and then the other three are just normal. Uh, micro SD and it has also a headphone jack. Surprising, surprising for 2017. But um, anyways, it's pretty good stacked. I'd say it has all the basics, like an SD card for something that you would want to import onto your um, computer, an HDMI. I don't think that's necessary anymore if you have the Thunderbolt 3 on there. But still, it's nice to have if you're using an older monitor. And uh, Thunderbolt 3 is always good to be future-proof. So ports gets a solid 9.5 out of 10. It is a little lacking, but... You know, with the, instead of a full SD slot, SD card slot, but it's still pretty good. Now this brings us to the end. The price. What? How much do you have to pay for this to get it? This costs two thousand dollars. The uh, version I was just talking about. But you know that refinement just doesn't feel as premium as as something like uh, the Surface Book Two, which looks really really nice from the outside, or the MacBook Pro, which is by far the best built. And the XPS, even the XPS 15, um, if you compare this, the XPS 15 to this, a similarly priced LG Graham, you're gonna go definitely for the XPS just by looks. But for everything that it offers, like the internals basically and the lightweight design, this is a really nice ultra portable. And I'd say if you're in the market for one of 15 inch ultra portable to a capable video editing system on the go, Three, you want the lightest laptop possible. And four, you want all your work getting done. This is the computer for you. And I recommend this computer to basically a ton of people because of how all-rounded it is and that lightweight um, 2.4 pounds just ices the experience on top of the already pretty creamy experience that it offers. So, yeah, this is I, uh, the verdict is it's a pretty good computer, so I do recommend it. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, drop a like down below if you enjoyed this uh, review. I didn't do a review on this because I was like, uh, it's it's probably not worthy. But then I d uh, dug deeper and I'm like, yeah, it's pretty cool. And subscribe right up there for more awesome content. And uh, I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. And by the way, before I go, should I do a smart home series? Just respond, comment down below again. So, yeah. See you guys. Peace.